Okay, I'm here with the band King Creature, who are about to play a set at Ten Creek, um, which is in Lou, and it's Cornwall Rocks. Um, from left to right, we've got Dave over here, who's the lead singer and bass player. Hello. We've got Mike, who's the lead guitarist. I'm playing a little bit of a tune there. It's Jack, who is the drummer. Drumist. <laughs> the drumist, drummer in the band. And Matt, who is another lead guitarist. Hey. Okay, how are we doing? Right, so, where are you guys from originally? Wherever you want to start? Well, what, individually? Or in, individually, where, where are you from? Uh, Rough born, area. Born in Truro, grew up in St. Okay. okay. Born in Truro, grew up in Grandpa. <laughs> here, that's where I left. You live just down the road, just down the road here. Excellent. Uh, Stockholm in Sweden. Really? <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> cool. And what are your influences growing up that made you become what you are today? My dad. My old man. Well, musical influence? Yeah. Why, what did he do? He was always in bands, him and his guys were always in bands, so I grew up as a kid around this sort of environment with the guys touring, playing shows all the time, me being part of the setups, pull downs. Uh, I was always a drummer though. My old man was a guitar player, I could never figure out what the hell these strings did. Um, so I drummed until about 14, 15, and then one day I just sort of could start to play. Excellent. So yeah, my old man was my inspiration, and his pals. Back. Your old man and his pals. Yeah. Cool. Jack? Uh, I got given a copy of Appetite for Destruction when I was a young lad. And that changed everything. I always wanted to be a guitar player, but that was too hard, so I had to set up the drums. So, but yeah, getting that album, playing along to that with my headphones as a young kid, is um, then that stemmed into a Motorhead being my favourite band, and nothing's changed. No, <laughs> good to hear. I've got to say the Baby Jesus. <laughs> and, uh, Religion. Yeah, and um, black metal. Black Mail. Anything specific in Black Mail? Um, bit of Venom? Bit of uh, Mayhem Forest. Dark Funeral. Yeah. Um, yeah. And guitarist wise, Michael Brennan. Nice. Fair enough. Um, I guess my influence, yeah, my influence is started with. Guns N' Roses have of destruction as everyone else has did. True. From there I got into all sorts of things. I learned to play guitar first and then no one played bass so I ended up being a bass player. Um, um, basically I love all sorts of different sorts of music. Um, there isn't a lot I don't like but there is some stuff I really love. You know? Um, so singing wise what was the influence in that? Uh, that was because I couldn't find a singer. Because there wasn't one. There, there wasn't a singer <laughs> around, so... Uh, so it's yeah. just you? <laughs> so yeah, by default, actually. Bass and, bass and vocals, by default. Yeah. It's kind of the thing when you're growing up, that is the roles that no one wants, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And you yeah. ended up doing both. Yeah. You know, the bass player or the drummer, don't they say? Never be There's one or the few, other. always a few drummers, aren't there? But no one wants to say, yeah. no one wants to play bass. That's it. But, uh, and how long have you guys been together now? Ten years next year. So. Ten years! Yeah. 21st. So it's the anniversary. Yeah. Will, will there be an anniversary tour? Yeah. We will play some shows, I'm no doubt. There'll be something. It'll be a, a tenth year anniversary album and a tour. And all the magic. All the magic yeah. that goes with it. Yeah. yeah. We've got that. And new music? Got any new music coming out? New album? Yeah, we've been working on some new material. Because right. you've got two out at the moment, haven't you? What are they called? Three. Uh, so you've got Volume 1. Three. Volume 1 that came out. One. And then To The Bone, which is an acoustic EP. I don't. And then... <laughs> yeah. And then... Um, set The World On Fire. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know... Album-wise, not so sure. I mean, we're thinking about just releasing a load of singles next year, to be honest. A few EPs and then compile them. Put them out on the yeah. CD and such. So maybe you'll get an album, but you would be really like, you'd be drip fed throughout the year instead of having it in one hit. Yeah. Because um, we learn, I don't know, you give someone an album, and by next week it's like, it's just old news again, isn't it? Yeah. But like people 
people seem to think, oh, that was then. But um, if we keep giving a song a month, <laughs> it's always current, you know, and it just want to grip, grip the people and peak interest, you know. So we're going to keep uh, releases coming often, but small. So yeah, that's kind of the plan at the minute, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because albums just don't seem to be working. No, the, the album format is a kind of almost kind of a dying. dead thing. In due the, to, in due to the world of streaming, the and world of Spotify, it's a singles, uh, singles game we're in now. Yeah, it is, yeah. Mm. Um, so, what's next after this gig that you're doing tonight? Basically, we're going to lock ourselves away for a few months and uh, aim for almost a bit of a relaunch next year, you know? Yeah. See how it's going to be a different sound from what people come to expect from us. Yeah. Kinda. As, I mean, as, people, as, people still recognise us, but yeah, our sound has evolved. Yeah. yeah. Especially now we've got Mike in the band. Yeah, so it'll be our first um, releases with Mike. Yeah. Yeah. So Looking forward to doing releases with, with Mike. That to be fair. Yeah. Of course, Mike's the newest member. Yeah. He's yeah. not appeared on an album yet. No. So, yeah. so. No. Only well, my own private one. But he's he's certainly bringing a new flavour, which is working with the direction that we want to go in anyway so it's it's evolving into a much different but powerful sound so what what category do you put yourselves in now music wise are you a rock heavy metal we always used what, to say what, what do you think we, we weren't are? really a rock so band we weren't a metal band but i'd now say we're a heavy metal band that's what i've always thought yeah uh, when I listen to you guys, whether gone, it's gone heavy metal the, or just hard rock. Gone are the ballads, you know? Yeah, ballads yeah, are gone. Yeah. That classic rock sort of sound is gone. Yeah. Um, but, now, now it's not, now we're not playing rehash riffs and kind of stuff that's been done before. Yeah. So now we're trying to find our own way. Hmm. As opposed to being told what direction or, or steered towards a direction that we didn't particularly want to go into. I think we're starting to become what we always kind of wanted to. Yeah. But we're always steered left and right by different people and other factors of the situations we're in. Now we're kind of more in charge of our own destiny now, and it's uh, I think we're all a lot happier for it, and uh, the results gonna be a lot better for yeah. sure. And even if people don't like it, we will. Yeah. So that's all that really matters. And that's key yeah, for the right, that's right in front. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. for us, and the shit's getting heavier because that's what we want to do, and I think that's what will portray with through the music, and that's what people will go, oh yeah, she's that's kind of cool. And, and that will lose a few of the old people, and that will lose bring a whole bunch of new people. Too. Yeah, because admittedly, yeah, like so. back in the day, we we did start writing for other people. Yeah, we were. We were yeah. Like yeah. Well, you, you should know? you should do a radio single. Oh, you should okay. do a radio edit of that. Oh, your song should one good three song on the radio, and you guys will go sky high. Yeah, but in actual fact, by doing that, we. Can't hate what we compromised and mm. ultimately didn't don't like what we've put yeah. out in the past. Well, don't get us wrong. We've enjoyed we've enjoyed we everything we've it. done, but it's all been a journey, and that's just like anything, isn't it? It's yeah. evolution, man. It's been a journey. We enjoyed that era, and now we're just evolving into what we're going to do next. And that is just really slow, depressing, horrible <laughs> fucking noise, and you're going to hate it. So I can't wait. Well, I was going to be really honest, and yeah. we're going to enjoy it. We're going to mean it. Yeah. So yeah. I think as long as you're honest, it's always going to be a good thing, yeah, and the fans yeah. will always I'll, be I'll there. You, you, you'll you'll pick up some new fans along the way. Yeah, this is what we're looking for, you know. Always looking for new fans. At the end of the day, if we release something, then we can all sit down and be happy with it. That's like the uh, number one goal. Yeah. Fair enough. And if other people like it, that's great. Yeah. Well, you've got to enjoy what you're doing, no matter Absolutely. what it is in life. So that's how, that's how, really, that's how it begins, really, isn't it? You only begin a band, you start writing a few tunes, get a local support slot, and you play on what you got. They're digging what you're enjoying, mm -hmm. and then that's the ball start. Yeah, so exactly. You from there, I mean, you might lose some, you might gain some. Might... Evolution, my friend. So tonight's gig. Yeah, there's going to be some Looking new songs. To Looking forward to it. There's going to be new songs. Yeah, yeah, we've got premiering some new stuff. Yeah, we've got some new stuff. We've got some old stuff. We've got some slightly, slightly less old stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah, we're playing, we're playing stuff off um, all their previous releases. And well, this is it. It's the first gig in Cornwall this year as well. So being back on hometown, we we sort of gone yeah. back on a little bit of what we'd said with Guardian. We were going to drop a few of the older things we were into, 
which is what we've been mainly doing when I mean, we've been traveling around this uh, year and a half. But now we're back on home ground, there's a lot of home fans and that's seen us all for a while. We're going to play a few of the old classics. Yeah, and it's, it's time for us to put a few of these songs to bed. Yeah. For us, really. So it's just, it'd be nice just to kind of. Not not because we want to deprive any of them no. of their favourite song, you know, if, if that's the case, but just for our own sake. Yeah, like, because else we'll just be flogging a bit of a dead horse. We'll, we'll be ended up playing songs we're not really digging. And that will come across, you know, and it's, that yeah, it's won't do us any it, good. It's important that if you're playing to people, they need to see that you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going through the motions, and that's not what we're going to do. We've never been about that, and we don't want to be, so. No, you gotta to stick to what you what you believe in and yeah. what you what you're happy doing. And we're still here. And Ten year anniversary coming still up, here. so we're still here. Don't, you don't look a day trying. older. Still hanging out together, still putting up with each other and smelling each other's farts all night on a bus. Excellent. So yeah, you know, that's dedication and love, man. It's too late to quit now. So yeah. <laughs> we're here to <laughs> win. Yeah. Still a bit around. Um so any any funny stories that Many on the road? Oh, yeah, anything yeah, anything that makes you laugh? It might all just be a blur, but if no, you could think of anything, so that'd be funny. That we just can't tell. <laughs> yeah, there's so many, but yeah, it's not for anyone Pro- else's ears. Probably yeah. not. No. Especially in the age of cancel culture, we will be firmly fucking cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> you will be. Yeah, you too. It's hard yeah. to say anything these days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, What's funny to us is not to others. Oh, this is true. Yeah, but no, we're good there is, there's lots and lots. Good wholesome we've, boys. We've, we've had our fun, you know, definitely, and uh, we don't over like let it go over our heads and we're humble about it you know we've had a lot of good times a lot of good gigs a lot of fun places that we've traveled to yeah and experiences on a million so you've been to china them, man yeah we went out to shanghai wow what a place never knew it'd be even that hot the telly don't tell you it's hot <laughs> it's got to <laughs> step off the airplane and just drift we, we turned up in coats and it's like instantly hot oh my god yeah Get someone, get us a drink. Those but, are kind uh, of the trippy things we remember. Like we got a thing. We started this band in a leaky barn. Fucking rain on our equipment. Everything we got broken. Then a couple of years later, we're getting flown out to America, China, all across Europe just to play our songs. We yeah. were in the barn is just four bored individuals. And I tell you what, one thing I'll never forget is we ended up in California. Obviously, band related, Marshall related, but uh, we ended up at the Dime Bash. Alright, the mm. Dime Bash. One thing that I'd read about forever, obviously Dime Pass yeah. 2004. Um, never thought, you know, that was just sat on Heavy Metal magazine, Heavy yeah. you know, fucking. You see the pictures, but you don't know. Uh, we went there, we went there, we didn't play it, don't get so wrong, I don't want to play it, I just want to go watch, but fucking hell, that was something that I never thought I'd do. So that for me and being there with our guys was like, is. But in, you know, just being abroad in general. But we toured around Europe, must be good fun. Anywhere we tour, we drink the motherfucker dry. Airplanes, hotels, everything. We have had a bit of a reputation. Mm. I, I remember on that flight, they basically got the, the stewardess got so bored of bringing us alcohol that they just invited us back to the galley and we were just stood with the air hostess on this normal yeah, flight. Like, right, bring, right, your, just, bring your bag. Just, 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 just dipping us hands into the uh, fridge there and just getting out, what, just drinking whatever we want to drink. And they had a great time. Yeah, and then we bumped into them yeah, somehow into them. in the middle of this like, fucking yeah. place. America's on the way to get more booze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually bumped into one in a booze shop. Yeah, yeah. 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 their hostess is no way out of It's a funny coincidence. Yeah. 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 The place is also like an hour away from the uh, airport as well, so it's like, yeah. it was strange. Yeah. Okay, so tonight you're going to be playing, I think, an hour and a half set. Yes. Yeah, thereabouts. Looking forward to it. We'll do yeah. we'll do forty five minutes, have twenty minutes of Pilates and um, just motivational speech, yeah, uh, mental yeah. health awareness and stuff like that, and then we'll do another fifty five maybe. Yeah, maybe. sounds, sounds good. Maybe. I think it's they'll top, enjoy top that. Mass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so uh, one, one hour and five minutes more. Uh, yeah, and then we might finish the speech. With, Still, uh, come, come on, on, get better with your numbers, David. <laughs> You're running the show. So you got a, a message for your fans because there might be a few fans that see this. There might um, still be a there few. There might still be a few out there that might see this on YouTube. Um, mm-hmm. Thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for still coming to the show. And yeah. uh, we promise that next year will be a good one. Lots yeah. of new music to come. Definitely. Lots of lots of gigs, lots of tours. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think about thanks, thanks for the support. Really. I think about you all daily. 
each and every last one of you all the way to like all of you you're all great awesome people thank you <laughs> excellent thanks for that <laughs> Right, that'll, that'll do, I think. Um, good luck tonight. Have a great gig. And Cheers, I'll, um, I'll, I'll speak to you all later. Cheers. Cheers.